Hey there, this is Coach Rylan from GoSleeveless.com. If you've read my ebook, Body Firming Secrets That Plastic Surgeons Don't Want You to Know, you'll probably recall that I talk about something called foam rolling. Um, I get a lot of questions about what exactly foam rolling is, and it's kind of hard to demonstrate with just photos, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video here and kind of explain to you exactly what I'm talking about. This here is a foam roller. Now, it kind of looks like a big pool noodle, but it's actually made out of a special kind of foam that's very dense. It's a closed cell foam. And this gives it the requisite strength for doing these type of exercises. It doesn't compact very easily and after repeated use it doesn't break down. So it's not just a typical styrofoam like you would see in some sort of a pool toy or something like that. It's a very hard, dense foam and you can't really use any other replacement for this. So if you're going to do foam rolling, get yourself a good quality foam roller like this. Uh, you can find them on most online fitness retailers. They're pretty easy to come by. You'll find some like this that have this different kind of pattern to them and you'll also find some that are just you know, plain black or, or you know, like a typical styrofoam color, which are fine as well. This is just a little bit of a higher quality one. Kind of has a honeycomb texture to it. And this is the better one. I would recommend that you get a foam roller like this if you're going to do these exercises, but any foam roller will do. So I'm going to take you through a couple of the basic exercises that you do with foam rolling, and then I'll kind of give you an explanation of how it works and some of the other uses that you can get out of one of these foam rollers. So let's uh, get to it. Okay, so for our purposes, we're going to be focusing on mostly areas that you might have sagging skin or cellulite, because that's, that's what our area of focus is here. Foam rollers can be used for a lot of different things, and primarily their main purpose is for you know, um, what's called myofascial release, which is kind of like a, a self-massage technique, and it's for muscle soreness and, and so forth, and, and rehab. Now, the reason why I recommend using a foam roller for purposes of you know, helping sagging skin, wrinkles, cell cellulite, and all those types of things is because I originally started using this with clients who had injuries. And what I noticed was that the areas that they were working on with the foam roller, they noticed, you know, reduced wrinkles, reduced sagging skin, and their cellulite started to go away. So I started experimenting a little bit with this for these other purposes, a little bit more of a, a cosmetic purpose, if you will, and got some really great results with it. So let's go through some of these major you know, the, the major three exercises that uh, you're probably going to get used for out of this, but you can apply these to pretty much any area on your body. And so let's start with the back of the leg, so the hamstring and the inner thigh. So what you do is you just set this down on the ground, position yourself on top of it, and you're going to adjust how much pressure you actually put onto your leg by how much you lift yourself up. At first, you might find this is really painful, that's because the muscles might be very tense and we have a lot of knots. That's okay, this will all help through that. So, let me move back just a bit so you can see here. I'm going to start with my hamstring. Basically just lift myself up and then roll myself back and forth on it. Slowly. You're going to work about 30 to 60 seconds in each particular area that you want to work on. So right now I'm working on the back of my thigh. If that's your problem area, that's where you'll work. So you have Glutes that you want to tone up a little bit more, reduce some of the cellulite, move it up into the glutes. Again, putting my hand here to lift myself off the ground if it's too much pressure, and then just rolling back and forth. You'll find that some areas are going to be really sore, and that's okay. Work in those areas will actually help improve the tissue quality, work out a lot of those knots, smooth that skin out. So if you had a problem on the side of the thigh, just turn onto your side. This part's going to be really painful, so you want to hold yourself up a little bit more. If you can take it, bear down on it, give it some more pressure, that's okay. But you'll probably find you'll have to lift up a little bit. Again, just roll back and forth. You're only moving back and forth about 4 to 6 inches, and slowly, again, for about 30 to 60 seconds in each particular area. Just like that. Okay, now, we're going to move on to the upper arms, the tricep. Bicep, very rarely you'll see much cellulite or any sagging skin on the bicep area. It's mostly going to be into the tricep. So same idea, we're just going to position ourselves down here. Fold the arm back. Put the roller there. Again, you can hold yourself up if this is too much pressure, but if you can, just bear down there with the arm. Rolling back and forth. 
So if you notice that your arms, you, you have lots of areas on your arms that you want to work on, by all means, rotate, get into all those other areas. You're just going to work on whatever area that you have a problem with. Okay, tricky one to do is the inner thigh. So let's do that one now. So, position it right there. You're going to rotate a little bit onto the side to get the inner thigh. And then rotate in here like this. Now you need to be a little bit flexible to do this. We can stretch out, start to get into the inner thigh a little bit more here. Or slide it down, kick this leg forward, right there. And you can slide all the way in, work all the way up into the inner thigh. And there you have it. So that's foam rolling, a basic introduction to it anyway. Um, you again, you want to stick to about 30 to 60 seconds on each area before moving on to the next one. Work in an area that's about four to six inches long, roll back and forth over that slowly, and then move on to the next part. This is basically usable for any part of your body that you do have sagging skin, wrinkles, cellulite, anything like that, and it works really well. But you have to be consistent with it, so you can't just do it once or twice a week and then expect to see any results. You definitely need to do this, something, something you won't do every day pretty much, about five days a week at least. And within about two or three weeks, you'll definitely start to notice an improvement in the tissue quality itself. Um, of course, this alone is not going to get rid of wrinkles and sagging skin and cellulite. You absolutely must pair that with a proper nutrition program and a proper exercise program. But add this into the mix and it can make a huge difference in the type of results that you're getting and the tissue quality and the, and the quality of your skin. So I recommend you give it a shot. It's something that I use a lot almost every single day for my back, my legs and that sort of thing. And that's more for muscle soreness, from workouts and that sort of thing. But you know, this has a multitude of uses and hopefully this is uh, something that you can put to use right away. Go trial from GoSleeves.com. Talk to you soon.